What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Fighting Fire with Fire, the AJ Rose Show. It is Saturday, October 23rd, 2010. We are three days away from the NBA season, which is why I've got my boys in the background again. And I am so, so, so pumped about this NBA season that I had to do an AJ Rose Show on the weekend and maybe even do another one tomorrow because we have to get an NBA preview in. So today we're going to preview the Western Conference and then either tomorrow or on Monday I'll give you the Eastern Conference, not to mention my picks for the playoffs and the NBA champion. So in the Western Conference, the Los Angeles Lakers have come out and made the finals three years in a row, winning the last two titles. And I'm sure they are very motivated because this is going to be Phil Jackson's last year as head coach of the Lakers. And they want to get him his 12th title and his fourth three-peat. Kobe Bryant, probably the most cold-blooded killer in the NBA and always motivated and always battling injuries, is going to be just as tenacious as ever. Now, the, what hinges on LA's three-peat hopes really is Kobe Bryant because now approaching his mid-30s, Kobe Bryant has defied a ton of odds because most people who come into the NBA through high school break down early, right when they hit about 30. And Kobe has just been the best player in the NBA essentially for the last five or six years. And I think that that team, along with Pau Gasol and Andrew Bynum, I don't see any other team in the West coming out and beating them. Uh, not even the super young, athletic Oklahoma City Thunder, led by their 21-year-old superstar, Kevin Durant, who I think is now 22. But anyway, the question of the day that I pose to you guys is, if there is a team... Is for, is, first of all, is there a team in the Western Conference that could take out the Los Angeles Lakers in a seven-game series in the playoffs? And if there is... Who is that team and why? Because I have tried to come up with reasons why the Spurs can, even though they're super old, can do it, or the Oklahoma City Thunder, or the Blazers, or the Jazz with Al Jefferson now, or the Nuggets, or the Rockets, or the Hornets, or any of these teams, the Mavericks, the Suns. I can't think of reasons why any of these teams can beat the Lakers in a seven-game series. A little quick side note, I think that uh, despite all the rookie hype for John Wall, who's going to light the NBA on fire with his speed, I think Blake Griffin's going to win Rookie of the Year. I think he's going to be dynamic because he's so athletic and because he has something to prove because he missed all of last year. I can't wait to watch this kid play. Even the only, the only setback is he is on the Clippers, so I probably just jinxed him into tearing his other kneecap, you know, in half and never playing another NBA game. But anyway, so I got the Lakers coming out of the Western Conference, and that's essentially it. And barring major injury to Andrew Bynum or Pau Gasol or Kobe. I think they're going to come out and make the finals for a fourth straight year and, in all likelihood, uh, win their third championship in a row. Um, thank you for watching Fighting Fire with Fire. Either tomorrow or Monday, I'll give you your Eastern Conference preview and my NBA title picks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.